Hey Virgo, welcome to your January 2019. Who's my future partner reading? This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back everybody. So nice to see you. If you are new to my channel today, would love for you to subscribe and become a part of my community here on YouTube as I focus on my subscribers first and foremost when I shuffle and offer my readings. Also keep in mind, I am rolling out uh, some new content for you in 2019. Uh, so be out on the lookout for new readings. I actually posted a pick a card reading for 2019 predictions just the other day. I'll put that link here so you can check out the reading if you'd like. Um, I will not stop doing these readings. So just, I had some people reach out like, you know, where's our January reading? So I'm a little behind guys, uh, but I am continuing to do what I always do. So just putting that out there for you. Uh, with all that being said, let's jump into your reading. You received Yang from Claire Baron Reads Wisdom of the Oracle. And that's a very masculine energy. This is taking action and moving forward. I think you're going to have to make the first move here, Virgo. Um, we'll see what the other cards are bringing in. And then you receive Skunk Spirit, which is all about self-worth. Know your worth. I love these cards. So these are both by Colette Baron Reed. The links to purchase these uh, cards on Amazon, if you're interested, are in my description box below. Um, I love these animal cards. I'm still getting to know them. They're quite beautiful. The illustrations are incredible. So just putting that out there for you tarot enthusiasts. Let's kind of get going here with the reading. You needing to make the first move. What's going on, Virgo? All right. Mm. Who is my future partner and what are they like? This is somebody that's been very hurt. Wow. Three of Swords. Hmm. This is disappointment. Um, threes are all about growth and frustrate, um, growth and expansion. Uh, so it's like the worst is over for this person, but they're feeling hurt. They're still healing. They're going through some kind of healing process. Maybe they learned out the tr uh, learned the truth about a situation, or there was a third party influence. Maybe they were cheated on, um, so they're not in the best headspace right now. But I definitely see by the end of January, moving into February, that that the relationship's going to move move forward. This person is coming into your life, and there's some really nice energy here for you for January. You get the Sun card as the overall. This is my happy, happy card. You know, this is shining bright. This is celebrating. Um, maybe you'll be spending a lot of time with this person, getting to know them. Um, this is finding clarity in a situation. This is also like a meant to be like divine timing with the sun card. So this is success. This is material gain. This is babies, happy home, maybe living together. You got the 10 of cups here. I don't think you'd jump right into moving in with somebody, but hey, I mean, anything is possible here. Um, I think most importantly, first and foremost, out of the gate that if there's any negativity going on with this person or the pain or this restrictive energy from their past, they're going to be able to move forward, but be patient with them because they're going to need a little time to heal. And yes, you're being told to make the first move here. But don't expect things to happen overnight because of what is your obstacle is the fool. And, you know, fool is all about the brand new start and feeling liberated, maybe taking a chance, maybe you're not sure. You know, you could be feeling like, I don't know, this person is dealing with a lot of stuff. Should I make the move? Um, and this is confirmation that you should know your own self-worth. If you feel a certain connection with this person, go for it. But like I was saying, you're going to have to be patient. you got the temperance card here. Um, and this is all about finding the balance within this new relationship. Because this is how um, they will affect you. Again, more divine timing here for you with this person. So you know there's some kind of connection, right? Um, and almost like a spiritual intervention could very well be in meeting this person. But patience is required because there's this healing energy that's going on. Okay, with this person. 
you know, the getting back on track. So don't push or force the situation. It's all going to be able to move forward here moving into February. Um, and this new beginning will finally be able to move forward. It looks like a very promising relationship. You got the Ten of Cups here. This is my happily ever after card, Virgo. You guys have got it going on here. Like I was saying, this could be marriage, birth, children. This is ultimate love. This is that momentous moment you've been waiting for. So things are going to come around the horn here if you are patient and let this person heal from what they're going through. And know that your self-worth is plays a role in this as far as what you bring to the table and what you offer, okay? Queen of Cups, your um, first impression of them. So this could be a... Um, and again, I don't do gender specifics and I don't do necessarily, I don't want you all to think this is just a water sign person. This could be part of their chart. Um, you know, they could come across as a very sensitive person, somebody that follows their heart. Like your interpretation is like, wow, this is a very nice person. And she really got screwed over, you know, and I'm really attracted to her. She's very sweet and sensitive or he could be, you know. Um, somebody that follows his heart as well. There's no gender specifics here. Like I mentioned, even with the sun signs, this person could even potentially be um, a Leo as well or have this kind of combination in their natal chart. But there's definitely love here. I'm sorry, I'm bouncing all over to the cards, but I'm all excited for you. you got the two of cups. This is some nice soulmate energy. This is a karmic connection. This is a mutually beneficial meant to be kindred spirit kind of energy with this person is a reason why you're meeting them. It's a beautiful union. And there's this real romantic feeling to the whole situation. You're going to be really um, being attracted to the compassion here that this person has this sensitive, innate, intuitive way. This could be you know, even a mother, like um, a woman that has children, as could be. But this is somebody that knows how to connect deeply within their own relationship, uh, within their own self, I'm sorry. And look at this. The Queen of Cups is next to the Ten of Cups. This is the, it's almost as if this is the person you've been waiting for your whole life. It's really crazy. It's awesome. Um, just give it some time. You are being inspired, though, to make the first move here with Yang. This is that masculine energy. Okay. So maybe, you know, letting this person know how you feel, but don't have any expectations. Okay. Just play it real, um, real slow here. You know, don't push or force a situation. Okay. Letting it's letting the relationship kind of run its course for the month of January. But it definitely has some great potential here. You are going to be moving to smoother waters with this person. Queen of Cups, I love it. They could have some air qualities in their chart as well. Um It's funny you see beyond their pain, which is kind of nice and Maybe right, they don't recognize it right away with the Two of Cups here that you are a potential soulmate. Some of you could meet this person. What I'm hearing is through a couple that might know this gal or this, this man that's been hurt. And they want to fix them up. I'm kind of picking that up too. So, you know, they're initiating... Um, like the meeting, however, you still can have to take the time because they're not 100% ready, okay, to commit to anything really too big right away. But down the line, boy, that's really crazy. This is definitely somebody that is um, a soulmate. Could even be a twin flame. All right, let me, let me get the love oracle cards here for you. I'm sorry. These are the Doreen Virtues Romance Angel card. 
Let's see what's coming through for you here. Definitely seeing babies. <laughs> Celebrating, feeling complete. Love this. Children, crazy. I was just saying that your love life is being affected by children. Wow. Maybe this is what I'm picking up on. I hear what I was saying earlier. She could be a mom or he could be a dad. Okay, there's no real gender specifics here. Uh, so we can go either way, you know, but there's definitely children being affected here. Combining of families, maybe, um, or maybe they're going through something with their children. That's been the heartache. Maybe there's been some pain, um, maybe losing a child. You just, you don't really know for each one of you, it's going to be a little different. This doesn't necessarily mean, well, it is a third party though, but there could be some of that, especially with children coming up here where there could be an essence, there's maybe been a sickly child or they lost a child um, and combining families is something really to look at but it's almost as if I really feel like this is something that really can come to a full fruition like a lot sooner than than most relationships it's like there's this mature relationship and when, once you guys really kind of get on the same page there's no problem in making that commitment yeah, there's some pluses to being older <laughs> for some of us. You know, you know what you want, you know what you want, right? Um, but children definitely playing a role here. What's on the bottom? Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah, so there's definitely a lot of passion here between the two of you, and uh, or there will be. So just be super patient. Let's, um, I wanted to read you Yang. Let's see. That is number one. Okay. All right. Yang represents the power of action, the energies that propel the world forward and manifesting thought and desire into concrete form. Now is the perfect time to act for you can easily build momentum and make headway. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently, okay? And I think this is definitely where the self-worth is coming in. This card signifies new life and is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. Maybe, um, yeah, there could be a pregnancy here. Um, let's read relation. I'm going to read you the relationship part. Circumstances are supporting action on your part. It's okay to make the first move. Trust that you will quickly know where you stand. In matters of the heart, there is movement toward your highest good. So go forth with assurance. Passion is in the air. <laughs> and now is the time to dance to the tune of love. Take the lead. Whoa. Love that for you, Virgo. Here's your passion. It's all about the passion. Nice. And the love. Look at the two of cups here. Here's your soulmate. Okay. Open up your arms and know, or your heart, and know that this is going to come to fruition for you. Virgo, I'm really happy for you guys. It's really amazing. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let's see if anything else is coming through real quick for you on this. Um... Yeah, just give it some time so you can move forward. I definitely see 
much more advancement for you within the relationship blossoming in February, okay? And if any of this relates to somebody that wants to go deeper right now, feel free to reach out um, for a private or personal reading. I am running still some specials here for the new year. I'll put that information in the eye in the sky as well. I want to wish you many blessings for a happy new year and all the best to you in 2019. And we'll see you in February. Okay. God bless. Namaste. Take care, Virgo. All right. Bye-bye.